Welcome to the next video on necrosis versus apoptosis. Okay, so necrosis and apoptosis. <clears throat> I want to paste this picture because it's a great picture that, that will help us learn and understand more about necrosis and apoptosis. And this uh, picture is coming from Robbins basic pathology text 8th edition Kumar is the the author so let me go back up here real quick there we go okay so necrosis versus apoptosis so if a cell in the first video I believe I talked about how if I was riding a bike and I crashed and I slid on the concrete how some of those tissues uh, some of my skin cells would be would be damaged okay now this is now the 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 example that I just used is more of an example of this pathway which is which is necrosis okay so necrosis is a now both of these pathways necrosis and apoptosis are both a way for a normal cell to die <clears throat> now why would you say why would a normal cell die well if there is um, hypoxia what is hypoxia hypoxia means um, lack of oxygen to some tissues um, ischemia um, ischemia is another way of cutting off blood supply to an area if why would a cell die if there were nutrients deficiencies if there were growth factor um, uh, inhibitions of growth factor wasn't being <clears throat> continuously brought towards a cell it would die if oxygen wasn't if uh, if some kind of chemical or you know let's say H2SO4 uh, this is sulfuric acid it's a very strong acid very um, toxic if that was poured onto your skin cells um, they would die now, there's a lot of reasons why skin cells would die and if, if it's more of an injury if it's more of this too much for a cell the cell will the cell will undergo necrosis. Now how this process happens is this, we'll get into this later, this is just kind of an overview, but enzymatic digestion and leakage of cellular contents, okay? So let's explain that. Inside each cell are little lysosomes. Uh, let's say this is a lysosome here, okay? Lysosomes have inside of them uh, uh, enzymes 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 are just a specific type of molecules that help speed up a reaction if you don't understand what an enzyme is I could make a video on that or you could just google it and see if you can't um, learn a little bit more about enzymes but enzymes kind of help uh, break down or speed up uh, reactions um, and, and in the case of lysosomes they have enzymes that degrade contents okay so if you look here at this cell you kind of can see how this cell membrane isn't attached you know there's kind of holes here there's a hole here there's a hole here there's a hole here there's a hole here what this is kind of uh, trying to illustrate is that <clears throat> in the necrosis process the cell membrane has holes has holes it's not continuous it it it's not it's broken up now because of these holes contents can leak out okay and the enzyme or the lysosome that contains these digestive enzymes what happens is they they get broken open they get you know they get split open too and then they come out and they leak and they start degrading all of this stuff so um, lysosomes have these digestive enzymes in them 
and usually they're safe inside kind of this little package but this package gets broken up uh, gets busted open and then these um, these digestive enzymes start eating away all of this content of the inside the cell and, and breaks open this um, this membrane and then all this content starts leaking out into the uh, extracellular matrix, the ECM, which is extracellular matrix, um, which is the, the the stuff that's out that's outside of cells. It, you know, it's fluid, it's uh, collagen, it's fibers, it's uh, extracellular matrix. There's another term um, if you want to Google it to learn more about. Um, but the the ECM, so all this stuff starts leaking out into the extracellular matrix out here, and then this causes this necrosis causes inflammation. Now this is the main difference between necrosis and apoptosis. Apoptosis does not cause inflammation, but necrosis does. Okay, and we're going to talk about a lot about inflammation uh, in uh, future videos. I'll talk about acute inflammation and chronic inflammation, and kind of what are what are the differences and similarities. But as for now, necrosis is this ab is this uh, unorganized, brutal way to kill a cell, and usually it's because of some kind of injurious, uh, you know, some kind of stimulus or event that's very injurious to a cell. And kind of, uh, you know, breaks it open, and these lysosomes will start eating away all this content, and it will be uh, ejected or spilled out rather into this extracellular matrix, causing inflammation. Now, apoptosis is more of an is a more organized, if you will, organized. Okay, so apoptosis is um a programmed cell death so let's say growth factor growth factor is a hormone let's say the blood you know the blood vessels coming down here and you got growth factor you know in the in the blood and it's being transported all over the body and let's just say this cell for some reason does not get growth factor you know whether there's a problem uh, in the blood vessels where growth factor is not leaking out or uh, anyways growth factor cannot get to this cell this cell will take that as a hint that it doesn't need to it doesn't need to be be alive anymore so it will undergo apoptosis okay another example let's say you know you somehow block this blood vessel okay through atherosclerosis or you eat too many hamburgers and your arteries get clogged and these cells don't can't get oxygen or they can't get blood anymore ischemia they can't get blood they undergo ischemia that is one of the most common ways that cells undergo apoptosis they'll start realizing hey i'm not getting any blood you know and then they will undergo apoptosis. Now how they do this is they start budding off. They start making these little buds and then they'll start pinching together. These buds will start pinching together and this will pop off, this little bubble here. And this will become an apoptotic body. Now this apoptotic body has you know, mitochondria, Golgi, has all kinds of different little organelles inside. And this little uh, scavenger cell called a phagocyte will recognize these apo apoptotic bodies. He'll say, oh, hey, this cell is undergoing apoptosis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. He's kind of the garbage man. And he'll come over here and collect all of these apoptotic bodies. And then he'll recycle them. You know, recycling is a more useful way of getting rid of trash so he'll go in there and recycle all the contents that it needs and uh, flush out the stuff it doesn't so this little phagocyte is kind of the uh, the garbage man if you will and recognizes that this cell is undergo undergoing apoptosis and will come over and grab these little apoptotic bodies these little budding off um, things <clears throat> and eat them up and recycle them 
Now, like I said, the main difference between necrosis and apoptosis is, in, is inflammation. And notice that in apoptosis that this membrane is intact the whole time. And even with these apoptotic bodies, they still have their membrane. And because they're a membrane, this stuff is not leaking out into the ECM. If the stuff was leaking out into the ECM, then apoptosis would cause inflammation. Um, but it doesn't. So big difference. Necrosis causes inflammation. Apoptosis does not. See you in the next video.